Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael here with Fresh Flow Aquatics. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I put together this mountain themed aquarium baseball crossover thing. I'll make sure to provide you with a list of materials. Everything's on the affordable end. I'll go over maintenance that you'll need to stay on top of and then show you one potential issue that I see with mine. As for the materials, I picked up a vase at a thrift store nearby. It's half a gallon, or roughly two liters. Then I built this stand using some walnut and L-shaped metal wall hooks. I used planted aquarium soil that I had laying around and some cheap LED floodlights that I got off Amazon. You'll want to get lights with a color spectrum of 6500 Kelvin to make sure that the plants get what they need. I used Dragonstone for the hardscape and snagged some plants from an established aquarium. Pour the soil in and slope it towards the back. Even in such a small area, you'd be surprised to see how sloping it can create a sense of depth. Mess around with the rocks in different formations till you get what you want. Since I was going for a rugged mountain look, I went with really sharp pieces of dragonstone and made sure to pick pieces with a lot of texture. I pulled some Monte Carlo from my big tank. It's a really easy process and it does not harm the mother patch. Just pinch off little bits and pull them out. The advantage to this method, over using scissors to get clippings, is that the plants will come with root structures and that will help them get established quicker. I was super cautious when planting because of how jam packed this base is. Pushing in too deep could cause a rock slide. Fill the vase very slowly, very slowly. You'll notice that there's a thin layer of film on the water surface. That's kind of inevitable without a filter. Use a paper towel to pick it up. For the first couple of weeks, I'll do a 50% water change every day. Calm down everyone, it'll only take a couple minutes to do that on a setup like this. Afterwards. I'll gradually move towards doing it a couple times a week. I'm really pleased with how this turned out, but I'm not 100% confident that the Monte Carlo will take off. It looks like they might not be getting enough light. Even though I have two floodlights in this small shelf space, it doesn't seem to be penetrating the water very effectively. The area around the vase is super bright, but when I look at the bottom, it seems a little dark. Regardless, this was such a fun little project and I'll be using this space for emergent plants in the future anyways. I may add some snails to this setup in a few weeks, but I definitely won't be adding shrimp or fish. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.